Welcome to everybody from James D. I'm making the video right now because I added another component. You can see it in there. Third 5870 XXX edition. So I've got TriFire rocking right now. And I also got a new power supply. This is the Antec, that 1200 watt that I was talking about. It's got those red stripes, which you can kind of see in there. Now, the thing that's different about this is it kind of threw me for a loop. I was thinking, oh my god, this only comes with what? Three PCI Express six pin, but each cable actually has two on it, two six pin. So, or one six, one six plus two. So, hey, I mean, you know, less cable clutter in there. That's about the best I could do with that. So, what I'm, and I also put that creative song card in there. Because that Ozentech, those drivers, man. I was having issues shutting this thing down. Because... I, I don't know. I think Creative must have snuck in a couple of shit drivers because it would just be at the shutdown screen forever and it was messing up my registries. So the point of the video today is I'm going to do a Heaven benchmark and we'll see where I am. And yeah, I, on uh, Crossfire X when I just had the two, I was getting only about 48 frames a second so and I'll go over the settings I'm going to use when I start the test up so all right be right back all right welcome back so I don't know if you can see it or not but I've got the processor cranked to 4.44 and the top two 5870s I've got at 70 percent for speed or uh, fan speed and then the bottom one I've got at 55% because that slipstream keeps it relatively cool and I'm just gonna keep it at the stock triple X edition settings 875 and 1300 and for the heaven benchmark I'm doing DX11 high enabled for AA I'm just gonna leave off okay and full screen 2560 by 1600 and then after this, I'm going to do a run at 1920 by 1200 because that seems to be more the standard. Now, with this particular benchmark, if you have a Creative Titanium card, you're going to want to put it from Entertainment Mode to Game Mode in the Audio Control Panel, okay? Because otherwise you could get a fatal error it's to do with the sound. So, right now, average is 115.3. Now, as I said, with these settings, with two, I was only getting 48 frames second average. I mean, the tessellation parts are on the, the road, and that dragon just killed it. I mean, it was chugging like crazy. Uh, it's one thing I've heard about the Fermi is the tessellation is supposedly just kick-ass, but it runs so hot, supposedly. I mean, jeez, I've got to have these suckers at 70 you know, just to keep it up below 80 on uh, Dragon Age Origins. So, which is a very cool game, man. If you have a chance to pick it up. Oh, it is sweet. Okay, we're at average 85. I got down to about... 35 frames a second by that dragon. And here's the tessellation. 
all you guys without it, that's all flat normally. Yeah, right on 35 is the low. No. Leave me a comment on which game you think I should play next. I have Mass Effect 2. I haven't played it yet. Um, I want to finish Mass Effect 1 first. I have finished it, but that was on a different hard drive. So. Maybe you want to see Dragon Age Origins. Just let me know. That's all tessellation, man. Do you know how painful it would be to walk down that road? <laughs> it's like a uh, an initiation getting to a tribe instead of hot coals walk down that road. Yeah, supposedly the Fermies are going to be called 480s now. They're skipping the 300 series label altogether. Whatever. Not my problem. Like I said, I don't own a supercomputer, so it's not marketed towards me. Oh yeah, this is the part it gets up there. Yeah, I'm getting to the 140s around here. Such a cool benchmark. Oh, there's just so much activity right here. Alright, score time, 74.5. So that's... Help me on the math. 25 higher? Yeah, about 25 higher. Awesome. Alright, now... I'm going to go back into the settings, and we're going to switch it to 1920. I'm going to leave everything as it is, and we'll see what kind of scores I get here. I almost feel cheated when I watch videos, and people are getting crazy frame rates and you find out it's only 1680 by 1050. It's like, what? Try it on this monitor, dude. Averaging 157. Yeah, you can really tell the difference in the resolution up here in the text, and just the sharpness. It looks like it has a uh, a Barbara Walters film on it right now. You know, like everything's just not as sharp as the 2560 by 1600. Now, after this test, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to do a Vantage run. Which might suck, because I don't have a physics card. I don't need that kind of heat. Okay. So. The scores might suck, but we'll see where it 